Hello Leo, it's my lady from my lady's way here and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 9 24 through 10 1 2017 The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards I like to read those straight out the books and ensure you get your full message I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road, okay? What's going on for the Leo? Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo for September 24th through October 1st. 2017 Leo love reading September 24th through October 1st 2017 what's going on what's going on what's going on all right so some people are letting go of situations this week all right so Jesus so it seems like somebody is taking you into a negative place mentally or you may be taking somebody uh, else there it seems like you're building them up but it's um tearing you down okay all right so it seems like this has to do with your friends or your friends are talking about the whole situation i feel like they may be i'm feeling like they may be geeking it up or um i don't know they, they, let's see what this is. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling like they're geeking you up to do unwise things. You know? All right, let's keep going. Okay, so this may be, you may be dealing with somebody at work. Your friends may be pushing you to do this, but it's it's, it's not a good idea. Mm -mm. Jeez. This makes me feel like the unseen. This is like the the friends they they got alternative mo they they jealous of you possibly and I feel like they trying to get you to do stuff to possibly lose your job. These are not your friends. Mm -mm. They trying to get you to remain in a bad situation because they're probably in bad situations. Yeah, it's not looking too good. Let's see what this what is this soul cage about for the Leo, what's going on with the Leo? What is all this talking about? What's going on, Leo, Leo, Leo? Love reading, September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Mm, Jesus. So these girls are, are or guys are trying to convince you that you... Mm, they trying to convince you that you could should sleep with somebody or continue to sleep with somebody that you're working with. Okay. Bad idea. Third party situations are not good. Okay, they're trying to teach, keep you doing this because you're not feeling the love at home. You know, you're not getting. You're not feeling like your partner is sexually attracted to you. Your partner may not be sexually attracted to you. But when you're dealing with other people, they can feel that. We can feel that. You know, we can feel just like you can feel when your partner is cheating. They can feel when you're cheating as well. You know, those energies are crazy. So this has to come out. Yeah, so it seems like it's going to be freedom. You're dealing with this person at work. You uh, got these people talking about you behind your back. And I feel like one of these people might even tell your partner that. <coughs> Sorry. They might tell your partner that you're cheating. But it's like you feel like I'm not getting it at home. I'm going to get it somewhere. And they egging you up. But it's going to cause freedom. And this makes me feel like you're going to end up with nobody. Okay. Wow. Okay, so your partner is 
Okay, I mean, I guess I can understand, but just why not leave a negative situation? Your partner is um, leaving, going back and forth, so they might have a third-party situation as well, but I know you have one at work. And if it's not a full-blown sexual, it's like a flirting, you know, I want to be with you, uh, possibly this might happen, but it's going to end you up alone. Maybe alone is a good thing in this situation, but it's because they're, they're, you're not getting... Um, any passion at home. Okay, Leo. All right, what's going on with Leo? Leo, love reading Leo. You may be um, married in this situation too, or just in a long-term uh, relationship. And then I just heard for some of you, it just seemed like it's been a long time. All right, September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Love reading for set. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, September 24th through October 1st. Love reading. What's going on? What's going on? Mm. All right. Somebody is crying over spilt milk here. Somebody's out for revenge, and it's crazy that it's around those friends. So it seemed like from these two, I feel like these people that you're dealing with, um, I just feel like they want something that you have. Or maybe you caused them to lose something in the past. So, and they want it back. So you got some choices going on. It's something, maybe you're getting ready to move or go on a trip. And you decide who you want to take with you. And you might end up separating this freedom card because of it. So maybe they're trying to get you to do something crazy on a trip that you're going to. You know, you got the choice to do what you know that might work. Or you might deal with this situation that you could possibly drop and it's going to make you lose everything. Alright, yeah, so it's like... This makes me feel like you're trying to recover this friendship. And then, uh, just because it fell over here. And um, I feel like you're trying to recover it, but they just trying to bring it down. I feel like they might be clicked up against you. All right, what's going on with the set? Leo, 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 Leo. I don't know why I want to say Sagittarius. Maybe yeah, somebody definitely going on a trip. Or you may just stay far from your partner, okay? All right, yes, yeah, somebody's not willing to fight for a situation anymore. All right, I read these straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. Yikes. Ah, oh, so that might indicate pregnancy or just new starts, new beginnings, you know. All right, so let's get it on. We have the Four of Cups. All right, the Four of Cups say, you may become very tired as life is very stressful. Do not let disappointment or some past negative worry your future. Disappointment, okay? Then we have the Queen of Swords. Queen, Queen, Queen. What is she there? She, she's reversed. Um, unresolved issues, revenge, and misdirected anger. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is all dealing with the friends here. You know, I feel like the the partner just not being attracted to you <clears throat> is not a big issue. What's making it a bigger issue is these people geeking you up. Instead of telling you to leave the situation, they're telling you to cheat. You know, and if you do cheat in this situation, this person that you're going to cheat with, you'll never be able to be with them because you're a cheater. They don't want you. So the smart thing to do is if you want that person, leave the current situation and then go there. If not, you'll always be a cheater to them, okay? All right, so we got the nine of staffs. Reverse, it says, a distinctive indication of past problems with law enforcement, prison, um, and necessary caution. So it's like, ooh, I'm feeling fights. Like, if you get busted doing this crazy thing, it's, it's going to be fights. And I think the fights might occur with the friends, you know? You set me up. You did this on purpose. You knew this would happen. You're going to end up blaming them instead of yourself for making that choice, okay? 
So now we got the Ace of Staffs. Mm. Hold up. Nine. Let me read. All right. So I read the wrong card. <laughs> but this is the Nine of Staffs. I read the Nine of Swords. So I feel like maybe there's a reason that that came out to you. But. We're going to do the nine of staffs. It says the result product of lack of planning. Movement will be painful and draining uh, with little time to rest. That's the same thing if you get caught. But the other situation, as soon as I started reading the cards, I saw fighting. You know, so I feel like all this fighting is going to be going on because you did stuff without thinking about it yourself. You're letting these people who jealous of you and want revenge for some reason think for you. Okay. So now we got the Ace of Staffs. And it's upright. It says, a great time to start a new business. Business ventures, proposal, new career, childbirth possible. So this is like, be careful because you might get pregnant by one of these people or you might end up uh, losing your job, you know, but you're going to have some new beginnings coming out of here. So just... Just be careful that it's something you want, but just the ace of staffs meaning it's going to be a better place no matter where it is. So just, you got some choices to make, okay? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.